how you guys and welcome back to the channel today we are doing something a little different want to dim the lights down low want to talk to you guys we're going to loathe and self-care okay there's so much going on in the world right now and I just want to take a moment to talk to you guys show you maybe a few steps in my routine for my skincare and just give a lot of rest and relaxation to all of you out there that are just like oh my god what's happening okay so right now today not gonna try to do too many edits unless somebody pops in here okay just gonna go ahead nice and slow and get into it all right all right so the first thing that I always want to do throughout the entire day honey okay is drink some water water is important Water is very important, very, very important to your skincare, okay? That's the most important thing. So when I'm feeling a little down, a little low, I get a candle, okay? And I light her up. She smells so good. She smells like lemon with a hint of citrus in the background. She smells so good, all right? Light her up. And the aroma therapy. Brilliant. Next thing I want to do is to cleanse my face. Yes, you guys, I want to cleanse the face. So what I have been using, because I'm going to use a um, powder exfoliant, I'm not going to use the spin brush. I'm going to go ahead and just use my hands for this demonstration because I don't want to use the spin brush and use an exfoliant because the spin brush kind of serves as an exfoliant, right? So I've been using this for some time now. This is from Ofra Cosmetics. This is the vitamin C cleanser. It works really good after you remove your makeup and it helps your skin feel refreshed. Vitamin C gives you a boost, you know, cell turnover. That's the most important thing here. Okay. So I'm just going to, I have some water in front of me. I'm just going to dip my fingers in the water and I am going to squeeze a little bit. And then I'm going to go ahead and get a little frothy foam here. It's not too, too foamy. I noticed that. And I do like that because you don't want anything with a lot of soap. Because soap tends to dry the face out. All right. Basically, all I want to do is cleanse. That's it. I just want to cleanse. Reactivate it with a little more water. Now, if you're in your bathroom, then you're doing this, you want to go down the neck, down into your decollete and all that good stuff. This is good to do, you know, after your showers and stuff. Get all clean and all fresh. It smells so good. Oh my God, it smells so good. Yeah, I just wanted to not worry about anything today, you guys. Anybody with me on that? I just wanted to sit down, play with my skincare, talk to you guys, and do something different. Okay? So now I'm just going to take my towel. I usually use a white towel, but I'm going to use the peach one today. And I'm just going to rinse my face off. You don't want to rub too hard. You don't want to rub down. You want to make sure you're going up and circulate the blood and all that good stuff. Disclaimer, I'm not an esthetician. This is just what I do in the comfort of my home to take care of my almost 41-year-old skin, okay? All right. That feels so good. So what have you guys been doing to stay busy? I know I want to put out a lot more videos, but I'm like, I don't want to be insensitive to what's going on out there, but I do want to give my subscribers and the people that watch me an opportunity to have something to do while they're at home. If you are at home, shout out to all the healthcare worker and the grocery stores and the pharmacies and the delivery drivers and truck drivers and all of those people that are taking care of us right now. You are the bomb. Okay. You are the bomb. So the next thing I want to do is exfoliate because after a long week of wearing makeup, you have so much dead skin on your face. 
You might have oil patches or dry patches depending on your skin type. My skin type is normal to dry, so I don't necessarily like to use anything that is heavy exfoliant anymore. I used to, but now, lately, I've just been using maybe my spin brush or micro beads. Um, there's a black wash uh, mask with micro breeds that I've been using that is really really nice They do sell it at Ulta. I know I've seen it there and I just recently got this I've used this for two days and it seems to be working pretty fine to me already And it's very affordable. It's from good molecules It's the pineapple exfoliating powder and it's brand new to market. So We're gonna try it so basically when you open it up, it has a seal on it when you open it, but I took mine off because I've been using it. And this is a powder. So you take a little bit of the powder, about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. Like that's enough right there. And you just drop some drops of water in your hand and you Go like this and the little there are little fine beads in it but they do dissolve so the powder exfoliates I know Dermalogica has a really good one that everybody loves everybody loves it and I've been using this one and it works I mean my skin is baby soft it doesn't smell it doesn't really have a heavy chemical smell It's like a paste. As you can see, it's like wiping a paste on your face and the little beads that are in it, they dissolve. So I like that because you know anything with beads in it has the potential to tear the skin. So I do like that. Let me know down in the comments what you guys are using when it comes to like maybe your powder exfoliants or maybe your chemical pill exfoliants or a mask that's exfoliating. I wanna try some new stuff. I'm just getting a little bit more water activating. Cause as you can see, over the course of the last, what, six months, I've been working on my skin and honey, honey, seriously though, she has come a long way, honey. She has come a long way. I've been just, resting and relaxing and just trying to take care of the house like everybody else trying to find things to do with the family this is a really i mean it's unfortunate but this is a really good time to spend more time with family members or you know make fun family nights and things like that this is a really good opportunity for that especially with the kids being home so I try to look at the glass as half full and not half empty. This is a very, very soft cloth that I'm wiping my skin with. You don't want to use anything hard after exfoliating because that new skin, you don't want to destroy it. Over the years, I know I have used quite a few different products on my skin. And some things work for a certain amount of time some things don't work at all period so you just have to find what works for you what makes you feel good about your skin what is what works with your skin because there's all type of different skin concerns and skin types different medications that we take as we get older we have underlying conditions that may cause the skin to produce certain ailments so you just want to be resourceful in your research not necessarily go buy everything we use because it may not work so far so good with this product i like to get it all off this towel feels so good it feels so good okay so now that we've done that i kind of go back and forth with this process of toning or not to tone so it because I don't like my some toners will dry your skin out the new toner that I have been using hasn't necessarily dried my skin out too much but I find that it is a little sticky 
the residue of it is a little sticky so I don't use it all over the face but where I do use it at is in the places that I get dry the most and I find that that helps to you know clean out whatever dirt is left over or your skin oh I'm sorry you guys this is the Ofa Ofra Cosmetics Revitalizing Toner it claims to perfect and refresh the skin okay so I've been using that for some time now too you guys and she's pretty good and as you notice I turned the lights down low so we get the ambiance and we can just chill you can I mean if you're home and not working you can do this in the morning you can do this in the evening just take a moment for you just take a moment especially the mommies out there you mommies out there you need a moment Sometimes we just have to go in the bathroom, close the door, and take a long shower. As long as somebody's watching the kids, we just need to take a long shower, debrief, do some skincare, come out, regenerized. Is that a word? Yeah, you know what I mean. Re-energized. There you go. <laughs> okay. All right. So now that I've toned, I'll let that dry down a little bit. But I go back and forth with to do a smoothing pill or not to do a smoothing pill. I find, I do, I go back and forth with it. I'm sorry, that's just who I am. Okay, so with this pineapple exfoliating powder, it says to, I forgot to tell you guys that, it says to, it's formulated with fruit enzymes, vitamin C, and rice powder to soften, brighten, and gently exfoliate. And as you know, with all the Good Molecules products, they have a um, recommendation system, whether it's AM or PM use. And this says to be both. Okay. And for the six weeks, up use up to four to six weeks. Discontinue if you have any irritation. All right. Now it says pineapple, so I'm assuming the fruit enzyme is pineapple. Right? We'll see how that works. It's been like two or three days. As you can see, my skin is brighter. It's more refreshed. And I just toned for no reason. So I'm going to just chuck it up. <laughs> okay. And use my little um, Frosé from all Ofra Cosmetics. You guys have seen this all over Instagram. People use it as a pill and cooling mask. It's really really good really 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 good really 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 good I have two of them it's really good it just cools the face down gives you a little tighten you know little you know all the pores you know just make you look fresh and refreshed okay so I'm just going to use my finger. You can use the spatula. I forgot to bring the spatula in here. I'm just going to use my finger and rub it in the areas, my problem areas. So that is like the sides of my face, my forehead, my nose. It's very thick. Very thick. You want to do this with a spatula or something. You do. It's very fragrant. So if you are sensitive to smells and fragrances, this may not be for you. But you want to put her on thick too. I do slather it on because I get really indulged into my skincare really indulge into my skincare I like to put it in areas that I have pores now I look frost look like the snowman okay but I do like to put this in an area where I have large pores because it does tighten them up it does.
and you let this sit for about 10 or 15 minutes. But you know what's important too? Eye mask are very important. Now, everybody's going to use a different type of eye mask depending on the problems or issues that you may have, right? So I'm going to use a caffeine energizing eye mask and let it sit while this is sitting. I'm actually rinsing off my um, fingers, just rinsing my fingers off because that stuff is really sticky. I should have brought my spatula in here. But I just want to do this video and get in touch with you guys and see what's going on with you. See how you're holding up with staying in the house. You know what? I stay in the house most of the times anyway. So I don't even understand why this is a big deal to me. Maybe it's because somebody's telling me what to do and I don't like people to tell me what to do. I mean, who does? Okay, who does? So these are the caffeine um, energizing I hydrogel eye patches you guys may have seen me do a review on these and I have been using them not every single day maybe every other day something like that and I have noticed a difference if you look back in a few of my videos you can see a difference under my eye it's not as dark or as puffy so I think over time it does a really good job at tightening and firming I do truly believe that Maybe it's the caffeine. I don't know. But this is what it looks like on the inside. So I'm going to take one for one side. And you kind of want to do this at the same time that you might be doing a mask. It's kind of similar to multi-masking. Get it in there. Yeah, she's clear. She's clear, clear. It does have this little spatula in there, but I don't have time. I don't have time. This stuff is slippery. I would rather just peel one off. I'd rather just peel one of them off. Okay, there we go. She's on. Hello, Ricky. I'm home. Y'all remember that show? Oh my God. All the good shows from back in the days don't even play no more. Happy days. Good times. Laverne and Shirley. Like, I'm always constantly looking for something to watch. Constantly looking for something to watch. But I'll let this stuff sit down and just let it do its thing for like 10 or 15 minutes and then I just peel off this part, peel off this part, throw it away, rinse my face down and retone. I don't know why I toned in the first place. Like I'm just talking and not even paying attention to what I'm doing, sis. <laughs> okay. Well, let me put the top on this. So what are some eye patches that you guys really, really like or some eye creams that you guys really, really like? Let me know down below in the comment section and I will get them so that I can try them out as well because sis always be looking for stuff. Honey, we are trying to maintain this pretty, pretty, pretty tight and firm face for as long as we possibly can, okay? All right. Okay, so we just want to move some of this stuff out of the way. I'm going to let this sit for a few minutes and I'll be right back. So I'm just going to rinse this off. Because you literally can pull it off. You literally can pull it right off. But it's not one of those, like the black mask. It's not one of those at all. Like, I tried that black mask, and honey, 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 oh no, oh no, me not gonna do that no more. No tonks, no tonks to you, but the skin feels so good, so soft, after you pull this off. You know, you have to rinse the rest of it off, but hey, it is what it is. Okay. 
can't go to the nail shop, so I'm going to have to DIY my nails too. Maybe I should show y'all that. Y'all want to see that? Because I do have like a little thing that I do for my nails in between fills. Honey, I need a super fill. Okay. Super fill. Super fill. Okay. Let's retone because guess what? I should have never toned in the first place. But when you do a peel off mask, you want to tone. You do. Close those pores up that you just opened. And that mask is not as aggressive as a lot of the masks that are available. I like it. It's nice and soft. But the thicker you put on a mask, a peel off mask, the easier it comes off. Okay. How many of you guys just enjoy sitting down and doing something that takes your mind off of the rest of the world and what's happening and all the craziness? Like, what are some things that you do to occupy your time? I have quite a few things. I like to crochet. I like to do crossword puzzles. I like to do makeup. I like to do a lot of stuff. I like to stay busy. I like to stay active. That's that's the whole key right here. Okay. So, let me just move this to my little garbage. Now, the next thing that I want to do is I want to go ahead and just dab a little water on my lips. And I'm going to take my Jeffree Star Lip Scrub. This is the Velour Lip Scrub in, I think this is Cucumber Mint. Yes, Cucumber Mint. I take one of the lip scrubs. As you can see, I use her a lot. And just scrub that dead skin off. And you know you can lick it off, so. Oh, dead skin and sugar. Ooh. <laughs> And this thing kind of, the situation that's going on in the world kind of put a hunker in everybody's plans. I really feel for the people that had weddings planned and stuff like that. Like, it's just oh, so hard. My plan is to get my surgery finished for my teeth. Like, come on, Mother Nature. Mother Nature. Girl. Girl. But they're going to be pearly whites very soon. And that's a whole nother story in itself. I really, really want to get that story out there for you guys. Because I know a lot of you people are wondering, like, what is popping? What's good? What's really good? But I'm going to get to it. Okay. So now that that's done... I know this is not typical, but I do use a lip gloss. I was using the lip balm, but now I'm using the lip gloss just to hydrate my lips because my lips are dry. They just dry, sis. They dry. So I'm gonna use my Shane Glossin. As you can see, she's almost gone. The lip balm, boom. Okay. And just hydrate my lips. And not to give it a shine or make it look cute or look good or nothing like that. Just to hydrate. Okay, so now that everything has calmed down on my face, the next step that I want to do... Oh, she's looking so smooth. She feels so good. And I haven't shaved yet. I haven't shaved my face in about a week and a half, maybe two weeks if we're pushing it. Okay, so everything under my eye is soaked in. The toner has tightened everything up. We are cleansed. We are all that good stuff. Next thing I want to do is take a little bit of eye cream. This is from Amand. You guys know I use this a lot. I use it heavy. This is my second jar. And here, I just take a little bit on my fingernail. I close it back up. And I keep it in the refrigerator. And it's a gel-based eye cream. 
if you're using this before you do makeup, I would recommend letting it totally soak in. I put a little bit on my lids. Don't want to go down. I want to lift up. It works good for me. I don't know about anybody else, but since it works good for me, okay. All right, so moving on, now I'm going to use a serum. Now, the, what the serum is going to do is going to further help me tighten and tone, and niacinamide is very good for that. We know niacinamide is very good for that. Um, I've been using the one by Good Molecules. I don't know if you guys can see, but it's almost gone, like literally almost gone I've been using that there's another serum that I've used the super peptide serum that's for fine lines too I don't know the exact price point on this but I'll look it up I'll look it up you know everything is gonna be in the description box as usual I take a dropper just on my hands it's clear and yes my nails are clean all this cleansing they're just yellow. And we're just going to rub that into the skin. Just going to let that soak in. Especially, a lot of people forget to pay attention to the brow skin under the brow hair. That skin can get a little flaky. So you want to take care of that too. Okay. I know this is going to be a long video, but I have fun sitting here talking to y'all. I do. I really do. Okay. So the next thing I want to do is take my L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Revitalift um, Moisturizer. I thought it was another name to it. I didn't really pay attention to the name, but as you can see, she gone, sis. I like her. She gone. She is gone. So I'm going to use what's in here. I'm going to get some out. I'm going to use an oil, too. You can mix your moisturizer with oils, and that will help your skin be hydrated, especially if you're dry. I definitely like to put this in the areas that are not as dry. I use the oil and concentrate it in the areas that are like super dry. Okay, top on that. And the, not, the last, one of the last things that I do is I will use the ultra hydrating facial oil. She's gone. I'm going to need a refill on this. And all of the good molecule stuff was sent to me in PR just so you guys know. Okay, let me take a dropper of this and I'm, it's not sanitary to do it on your face so just take a few drops and put it in your hand that's what she looks like she is like goldenrod yellow and just most serums and moisturizers are activated by mixing them emulsifying so I just, my nose mainly, my nose, my bridge, eyebrows, just pushing it. I don't want it to be super oily on my face. Just want my face to be hydrated. Just hydrated, not super oily. Around the mouth. You know, you use your mouth more than you use anything. So all of this area right in here, your expression area, especially your forehead too, pay attention to those those your eyes your mouth tends to show the aging process and if I can slow her down I will as you can see my face is not super oily it is cleansed it is moisturized I have took my time doing my skincare now if I wanted to go in and start my makeup process I can do that after this settles down. I usually take about maybe five to 10 minutes to go ahead and let that settle down and then do my makeup because I want it to soak into the skin. 
which is really good. All right. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I enjoyed sitting here talking and catching up with you guys, giving you something to take your mind off of everything for about 30 minutes. Okay. I enjoyed this video thoroughly and I will see you guys on the next one. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Sanitize. And stay home. Because I'll have some more stuff for you. I'll see you soon, guys. Bye.